Good morning and welcome to Integrity Cells. Folks, here we are again, ready to show you another finished product. It's a 2005 9200i International. Larry's going to go ahead and fire up this motor, pop the hood open. We're going to let you have a chance to see under the hood while she's running. We're going to pull the dipstick, let you check out the blow-by sitting here at operating temperature. Folks, this is a very nice truck out of a fleet of 20 that we went through. We have five of them remaining as of today. They are going out very quickly. As you can hear, this ISX Cummins fires right up, smooth as can be, and purrs like a kitten. Now let's go on over here and let's have Larry pull the dipstick out. We're going to let you look at the oil, and I'm going to let you have a chance to look at the blow-by. So pair with us here. Bring it out here in the sun, Larry. Now, folks, look at that. I can see right onto the stick through the oil. Very nice and clean. Let's look at this blow-by. Okay, as you can see, folks, there is absolutely zero crankcase pressure coming out of this ISX Cummins. Larry's going to shut off the engine so we can hear better in the video. I can't think of a better place to start than right here on this driver's steer tire. As we come up here, you can see we have nice matched 10 aluminum wheels, 90% rubber. Come on down here and look at these 90% brake shoes, folks. Very impressive, dry, clean engine. Check it out. All the way around, it is in immaculate clean condition. Fresh filters all the way through the truck. Very nice looking radiator, belts, hoses, everything in nice condition. Just check this out for yourself. Let's whip on around here. I'm not going to waste a lot of time here. These trucks are going to sell themselves. Just look at them. Matching heavy duty steers. Nice 90% rubber. Pop on down and you can see the brake pads. Everything just tells the story just like it is. Look along the engine. You can see she's dry. There's the evidence of your new filters. Look up here along the manifolds. Very clean. No evidence of leaks. The uh, coolant level has been been checked just this past week. Folks, we've done everything to get these trucks ready for you so you can take them out and make money. Now, Larry's going to close the hood. I can't think of a better place to start on the exterior than right here on the front of the truck. Okay, folks, let's square off here, and I want you to pay special attention. If you look at the body lines where the hood and the bumper and everything meet, this truck is in immaculate condition. Nice and straight, nice chrome, is all polished out. It's got the bug shield, the visors, the convex mirrors, an absolute flawless body. Look at this. No cracks on the paint whatsoever. Very nice and clean and shiny all the way. Take a look for yourself, folks. Straight as a pin. Very nice. Look at these nice polished aluminum tanks. How about popping underneath here with me? Look at the underside of this sucker. What you've seen on the outside is what you're going to see on the inside. Now, folks, look at the bottom of the sleeve. You see this pipe coming out of here? These sleeper bunks are equipped with diesel burning fuel heaters so you can run this sucker and keep your truck warm without the big diesel motor wasting your fuel at night. Now come on back here, look at these nice aluminum wheels. We've got 10 aluminums on them. Very nice, 70% rubber back here. Take a look for yourself. You can see, I'm telling you, air slide fifth wheel, clean frames, clean differentials, nice airbags. It's all here for you in one nice package ready for you to put on the road and make money. Now let's come on around. You can see we got a duplication all the way around of tires, wheels, frames, nice grown field automatic grease system on them, nice aluminum battery boxes. Again, Again, block heater, nice aluminum tanks all the way around. Now square off here and you can see we have a duplication on the body all the way around the truck. Now next, I'm going to have Larry open the driver's door and I'm going to give you a nice overview of the interior of the truck. Come on around. Okay, folks, as we come up into the driver area of the cab, I want you to pay special attention. Look at how nice and clean this is around the doors underneath the sleeper bunk. There you get a chance to see the exhaust pipe system in very nice condition all the way through. Now, folks, we have a special truck here. It's a full two-pedal automatic, no clutch whatsoever. If you can physically haul yourself in this truck and push the brake release button and you have one good foot, you can drive this truck and make money. Now, come on into the driver's area. You can see we have immaculate seat cover. Look at that, folks. Very clean and impressive. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to climb on into the truck and I'm going to go onto the passenger seat and Larry's going to come in the truck with us and we're going to go ahead and give you a nice virtual road test with this truck. Now, 
But before Larry fires it up, I'm going to give you a nice overview of the sleeper bunk area. Look how nice and brand new looking. I'm telling you, folks, this truck has not been smoked in. These are all wired for the 12-volt refrigerator, ready to pop right in there. Look at that. Nice workstations. Nice place for storage. Uh, you can put in here whatever you want. They're lockable cabinets. Very nice, clean condition, folks. Now, look at this. Here's your rear heater and motor controls. There's the control to run the heater system that burns diesel fuel only. Very immaculate. Look at this, folks. Take a look forward. Lots of storage space. It's a very, very clean truck. Now, we're going to stand right here, and I'm going to have Larry go ahead and fire this truck up, and you're going to get to see how this sucker shifts, runs, and drives. So come along and enjoy the test drive with us. Now, you can see he's firing it up. I'm going to come right up here and let you see the mile. 692, 534, and look at that oil pressure. Sitting here at an idle, we're homing in at 40 pounds at about 600 RPMs, folks. Look at this. Evidence of all the air pressure gauges working. Every gauge is working on this sucker. Here you can see the automatic tranny's in neutral. Now, Larry's going to go ahead and show you the operation of driving. I'm going to stand right here so you can see it all. First, you push in the parking brake. You simply push forward on the shifter knob, and you'll see this truck will shift. And you wait until the indicator shows you're in third gear, and it's as simple as that. Here we are, off to the rodeo. Come along and enjoy the test drive. What I want to show you, folks, as we head down the road here, I'm not doing this to impress you, but I'm only trying to explain we have a very nice truck here and a fleet of them. So we're going to pull out here in our country road, and I'm going to home in on the speedo and the tack. Now watch this. You're going to see that just simply push the pedal to the floor and hold it there, and look at that acceleration, folks. We're coming up in there on 40 already that fast, but we've only won about two blocks. Very quick, smooth. Look at this. We're already in 10th speed. You can see the shifter there. Going in 10th gear, and we're coming up on 55 miles per hour, and we've won about four city blocks, folks. These are some big, powerful engines. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the cruise on here. I'm going to hit set. Now, Larry, go ahead and take your foot off the throttle. Now, look at that. No feet on there, and we're sitting there cruising at 55 miles per hour. So, evident, it obviously works. Now, let's go ahead and turn the jake on. And, man, you can feel that come right on. So, folks, it's all here working for you in a nice, clean package. And I welcome you to give us a call here at Integrity Cells at 260-238-5000 or visit our website at www www.99trucks.com. Feel free to call us anytime. Thanks for shopping, and I'll be waiting to take your call.